and hello everyone, we have the last video summarizing the past year. And today we will remember the brightest and most important events of this year. So this video is suitable for everyone who missed something this year, or recently subscribed, or just wants to remember what happened over this year. February 2020. This whole year was closely associated with Alexandra Soldatova and her career. In early February, before the Moscow stage of the Grand Prix, information appeared that Sasha would miss it for health reasons. And literally the next day, the media began to write about Sasha's suicide attempt. This information of course was later denied by Sasha herself and her coach, but as for me, this moment remains secret and doubtful. There were too many inconsistencies with the explanations of Sasha and her coach, and what they said before they talked about her bulimia and after. In any case, in the fact that cannot be denied is that in February Sasha was hospitalized with bodily injuries and a diagnosis of bulimia. If you want to remember the fact, then watch the video of a suicide attempt, where I talked it in great details about all the facts that appeared and about all the inconsistencies. Well, while this hype with Sasha was going on, the stage of the Grand Prix was particularly interesting. Although the competition was very interesting, after the first day, Arina took only 4th place in the all-around, and on the second day she was completely removed from the competition due to a leg injury. And according to the results, three gymnasts of Russia, Dina Verina, Daria Trubnikova and Lala Kramarenka were on the podium. And on the final day of the Grand Prix stage, while the gymnasts were playing out medals of certain types, Sasha Soldatova answered questions live on TASS and shared with the whole world her illness, with which she has been living for several years now, and actually confirmed the fact of bulimia. Then she took a break in her career to recover and tried to have time to do it for the Olympics, as we thought in February. At the end of February, at the Russian Championship, a high-profile event took place again, this time with Dina Verina. She could not go to the awards and the whole tournament performed with hellish back pain, and immediately after the last performance, according to rumors from the audience, she could not even walk. The awards parade was delayed for 40 minutes, and Irina Wiener was not aware of the injury, according to her. And at the end of February, information about the coronavirus began to appear, and the first rumors that the Olympics may be cancelled. The first gymnasts were already appearing who refused to compete for safety reasons. March 2020. Well, in early March, this the Miss Valentine tournament was held in Tartu, where Russian gymnasts performed. Tina Verina was recovering from an injury and did not come to the tournament, but Sasha Soldatova came to Tartu only for the masterclass. Well, immediately after the international tournament, a series began with the cancellation of all tournaments. Russian gymnasts have not come to the Grand Prix stage in Brno, and this was probably the last tournament before the start of a large-scale pandemic. March was not the most active month in quarantine. Gymnasts were filming videos, trying to entertain themselves, filming challenges, actively leading social networks, but gradually the forces faded away. Information appeared about the cancellation of more and more tournaments. Later, it was decided to postpone the Olympics. In April 2020, Novogorsk was quarantined. In May, Katya Galkina was diagnosed with COVID. The gymnasts began to return to training a little. In particular, the Russian national team was allowed to train in Novogorsk, no longer in their rooms but fully in the gym. And in Ukraine, the struggle began to ensure that the European Championship was held by any means. Many gymnasts of the Ukraine national team ended their career due to the quarantine. And at the end of May, in Ukraine, problems began with the home hall of the Durugina school. June 2020, quarantine and Sasha Soldatova's confession promoted many gymnasts to talk about their problems with eating disorders. So gradually, news about new gymnasts with similar problems began to climb out, and behind the scandals was the violence of coaches against athletes in Switzerland. We have not yet closed this topic, and next year I will still talk about how things are in other countries with this problem. We have not yet closed this topic, and next year I will still talk about how things are in other countries with it. In June, the first online tournament was organized by Irina Wiener, and it was a real joy. After all, we have not seen the girls for several months. True, the tournament turned out to be a little strange for the gymnasts. At that time, it came as a shock. It was clear that many far. True, the tournament turned out to be a little strange for the gymnasts. It was clear that many were far from the perfect shape. August 2020. In August, problems began in Belarus, about which some athletes spoke very loudly. The world was divided into two camps, and this also affected gymnastics. In August we learned information that the Russian national team would not take part in the European Championship, although then Irina Alexandrovna expressed the opinion that Europe would most likely be cancelled. At that time it came as a shock that Russia refused to participate in such a tournament. 
In September, Sasha Soldatova apparently recovered more or less from her illness and began to promote a healthy lifestyle and healthy thinking, and began to teach how to deal with an eating disorder. The first international offline tournament took place in September, it took place in Kyiv, and it was the Dirugina's Cup. It went just amazingly, despite the fact that many people did not dare to come. After the quarantine, the leaders have changed a lot, and the old leaders have slightly lost the ground. So we were surprised by Viktoria Naprienka and disappointed by Vlada Nikolchin. October 2020. In early October, Yekaterina Galkina went to treat her injury and missed all the competitions, and the European Championship was deprived of quotas. In October, the Russian Cup was held, at which the gymnasts of the national team performed. But not all. Some were in quarantine, as they caught the COVID while returning from the training cup in Alushta. After the quarantine, many gymnasts were injured, which was also reported by Irina Wiener in an interview, and told how difficult the quarantine and recovery was for the gymnasts. In October, refusals to participate in the European Championship began to arrive, and the organizer Ukraine tried as much as possible to make the tournament take place. At the end of October, sad news also arrived. The gymnast was found dead in her bathroom, and this was not the only death of a famous gymnast this year. November 2020, November began with a sc uh, another scandal. This time, two head coaches of Ukraine, Irina Dirugina and Belarus, Irina Liparska, were in conflict. Well, in all early December, we again remembered the conflict between Vada and Rusada. The court was approaching, and in mid-November the trial took place, and now we already know that Russia did not receive anything terrible and tough measures. But at that moment the situation was aggravated and I was definitely panicking. Another sad event in November was the news of the end of her career of Nivyana Vladinova a gymnast of Bulgaria. She did not say goodbye to gymnastics, but finished with her performances. End of November, the European Championship is the most anticipated sporting event of the year, and thanks to Ukraine, it did take place. The most interesting news from the Europe is the strange substitution and shuffles in the Ukrainian national team. First, the main leader, Vladimir Nikolchenko, was removed from the tournament, and Eva Milishuk was announced instead. There were no questions about Viktoria Naprienka during the last start, she was the leader of the national team. But literally a day before the tournament, she was removed and again declared to Vlada. There was also a strange situation where Irina Dirugina talked about Vlada's stress and the fact that she could not cope with the training in quarantine, but she still performed in the European Championship, but Vika missed the tournament. Well, there was also an interesting all-around competition among individual gymnasts between Linoya Shram and Alina Gornesko. The girls scored the same points for the all-around, well, and the leotards of the Azerbaijani national team also brought topics for discussions at the European Championship. December 2020, December began with summing up the results of the European Championship, and it was there that the Irina Dirugina devaluated Linois Ashram victory. In December, the third online tournament took place, and it was a scene not to compare it with the European Championship, and to access the shape of the gymnasts of the Russian national team in relation to the gymnasts who recently performed in Europe. And I must say, it was not very confident in comparison with the European Championship. Well, the end of December was a truly sad event for all the fans of Alexandra Soldatova. On December 24th, Sasha announced her retirement at the New Year's show of Olympic champions performed for the last time as an active athlete. So Sasha chose health and left the sport. Write in the comments which events of this year you remember the most and what will remain in your memory forever. I definitely have this whole story with Sasha Soldatova stuck on my mind. I'm waiting for your opinion in the comments. Well, that's all for me. See you soon in the next video. Remember that I love you all and for now, goodbye. The video was translated and dubbed by Alexandra Sinitsa.